Hello everyone, today we're going to compile the Boost C++ libraries using TDM GCC 4.9.2 32-bit SJLJ. In other words, the compiler that comes with code blocks. So, if you go to the bottom left hand corner of your screen to the start button and you right click, you get this little menu and you can open up your command prompt from here. And I want you to type GCC space dash dash version. Now if you get this message, GCC is not recognized as an internal or external command, you'll have to add GCC to the path environment variable. So to, to do that, we'll have to go to the C drive. So open up File Explorer, go to your C drive, Program Files x86, Code Blocks, MinGW, Bin, and here you'll find GCC. So go ahead and copy this path to your clipboard and close the window. Now we need to go back to this little menu here, right click on the start button, except this time we'll go to system, advanced system settings, environment variables, path, and edit. Click new and paste the path we just copied into the box here. Click OK, 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 close this window. Alright, now we'll open up a command prompt again and just double check that this did actually solve the problem. So type GCC space dash dash version. Okay, so this time we did find GCC and it's giving me the version information. So that did work. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to open up the boost source code folder. So that's this right here on my computer. So I'm going to snap this over to one side and I'm going to snap the command prompt to the other side. So. Now, when you get to this point, the first thing you'll need to do is point your command prompt at your source code, code folder. So go ahead and copy this path right here. And in your command prompt, type cd for change directory and paste the path into the command prompt and press enter. Now, once you have that done, you'll have to uh, build bjam. So building boost is a two-step process. First, you need to build bjam and then you use bjam to build boost. So how do you build bjam? Well, you'll have to run this script right here, bootstrap.bat. So in your command prompt, just type, type bootstrap.bat. Now, we need to tell uh, bootstrap what compiler we're using, because if we don't, it will use uh, Microsoft Visual Studio by default. So I'm just gonna type gcc. Okay, now press enter and let it do its thing. Now bootstrapping only takes maybe 30 or 60 seconds, so it's fairly quick. Compiling will take a lot longer, it'll take 20 minutes or so. So bootstrapping will give us two executables. Uh, it'll give us um, bjam.exe and b2.exe. And we'll use b2.exe to actually uh, compile boost. All right, there we go. So you can see we got these two executables executables b2.exe and bjam.exe. Now to build boost what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the command prompt and we're going to type b2.exe and we're going to pass a couple of options. So the first thing we want to do is tell um, uh, bjam what compiler we want to use just like we did before. So we're going to say toolset equals gcc. Now I also want to specify whether I want a shared library or a static library. Um, I think before it built, I think back in the day, I think it built shared libraries by default, but it doesn't seem to do that anymore. So, and I want a shared library. So I'm going to say link equals shared. Okay, now at this point you can just hit enter. And that's all you have to do to build the Boost C++ libraries. Now, like I said before, it'll take about 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so. So I will see you in a little while. All right, everyone. So now that Boost has finished compiling, I just want to show you where to find your binaries. So we close those windows and we open up the Boost source code folder. Open up this folder here and we'll go to the stage lib folder. And here is where you will find the binaries. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.